name is Muhammad Norizwan. I'm working in a Selsu company as one of the director. And this company actually previously known as um, Vipac Engineering Hardware Supply. We are, we are, our first customer is Sony. Second customer is Sony also, but Sony Video. Sony TV and Sony Video. For me to bring up this uh, VPAC the other time, it's very hard. It's very, very hard because we don't have manpower. We don't have a proper uh, machine to run the parts. We subcon out. So it's very difficult. I'm doing alone that time. I think around 12 years, I'm alone running this set superposition technology. So after that, we, re we reduced tremendously on um, cost down activity when that time, because 1997, we got uh, economical problem. And that time also, I'm very suffering, suffer on cash flow, in this manpower, nobody to work and I do it myself so till today I have a God brought me a very good partner is Mr. Suresh which is his change tremendously change those days and what this we are currently what we are doing those days we always do cheek and fixtures and we are not using this kind of machines. We use manual machines. After he come on board, then we change slowly. We change many things, and until we have ERP system in the in the company, which is helping us a lot. My name is uh, Suresh Vaitalingam. I I'm an executive uh, director here. When I came on board from Jigs and Fixture, we went into precision machining. So what Setsu does is, we do very precise components up to 5 micron uh, capability uh, from engineering in uh, metals and plastics. We manufacture components, metal and plastics and we export to about 13 countries. So our biggest market is in Australia followed by US and Europe. So most of our customers are tier 1, uh, we are a tier 1 supplier. The reason is because most of our customers carry their own brand. So 80% of our market is for machine builders. That means so those who make their own machine, own equipment, that's where we export to. Whereas another 20% for automation machine makers, where we buy uh, Setsu Fall as Tier 2. Currently we are exporting almost 95% of our product is being exported to overseas. Uh, that gives us a great advantage and of course along the way we have also implemented into you know talking about industry 4.0 we always believe in automation so we have got a complete ERP system in Setsu called global chop solution we introduced this in 2008 and uh, right from the time that we received purchase order until we ship this part everything is automized so great uh, traceability so that puts us uh, very easy for people to work, even machinists comes to Setsu, very easy for them to see how to do a setup and things like that. So generally, uh, this is what we are doing. We hope with Industrial 4.0, we get to increase our capacity. We got to measure more, uh, like example, our OEE, our overall equipment efficiency is where my main priority is. I want to know whether we are running with full capacity or not. So with that, definitely it will help us to know our weaknesses, work on it, make it more efficient and we have increased our productivity. Machine investment business. So it's a big capital investment, so machines. So if you have, we have spent a lot on machines, we need to know whether these machines are being maintained and at the same time utilised. So the industry 4.0 will help us in two aspects of the machines. One is OEE. That's uh, overall equipment efficiency. Are we utilizing this mission to the max? Uh, putting the cloud system in, getting this data, and immediately putting it in a dashboard so that all my managers, middle team knows what is happening. And second is predictive maintenance. So rather than doing a planned maintenance, we can predict with this industrial 4.0, now what's going to happen to this part? Now the mission is going to break down, or we go to do this service. So we have a reduced downtime obviously it will increase the efficiency of it. 
So we are looking at industry 4.0 in these two angles and both are related to machines. People in Satsu, especially middle management and everyone, their knowledge will increase. It will enhance their knowledge. Why? With Industry 4.0, they get to see, oh, I know my efficiency now. And uh, I know my machine maintenance now. So in the first thing is, it's going to be a great learning curve to my middle, middle management. All right? Because it, this is, they, they, along the way, they are going to learn a lot. And they're going to pass this knowledge to people down there, the machinists. That's one thing. Second is, it's going to be a better working environment, whereby we don't work like, you know, that's fire today and we're going to fight. No, we already know what's going to happen. And it's like really planned well, like FMEA, failure mode effect analysis. We already know what's going to happen. So the environment of working will be definitely better, right? So we don't like, it's not firefighting every day, number two. And number three, I think efficiency will be better directly KPI of each individual, each department's KPI will improve and they are going to benefit out of it. So I see if you put it in summary, first it's going to be a learning curve to my people because some of them might not know what is it all about. So there's going to be some training incorporated for them. So make our people ready. Then we put in the process, we learn the process, then we implement it. Then after that we see what are the corrections need to do and I think we will do well. It's a good, Industry 4.0 is very good, but it is good for companies who are halfway there, people like, maybe not, I'm not just thinking about Setsu, all those companies have got an ERP system in place, it will be an advantage for them, because they have got something there as a basics to move on to Industrial 4.0. But companies who doesn't have an ERP system, doesn't have an ISO in place, so when a company has got system in place and they run with an ERP system, I think the next thing they should go for is Industrial 4.0. But for those companies who have not gone to that yet, I think they got to put Industry 4.0 on hold, first work, get the ERP system, get the ISOs in place so that then they can go with it. Because Industrial 4.0 is bigger than that. So do we have people ready? Do we have process ready? Do we, the leadership have enough role?